This G2 roster busting up the solo Yoru. That's some, not something you see every day. No, pretty rare composition here. Valen ahead of his smoke to start here. Great flash setup, but it's just one for one. No one's over on that B side, though. 100 Thieves are taking it slow for the time being, but it's a massive stack from G2 over on this A side. 100 Thieves is not looking to commit just yet. Spike left back in market, just hunting down, seeing if they can find a pick or something like this. But G2 are going to be happy to play heavy A, push out of that shower's angle, and get a massive flank going over towards B. Bang going to re-clear, peeks into three, and goes down. G2, gain advantage, it'll be a quick rotation towards B. Yeah, 100 Thieves need to heat up now over into that B site. Still not entirely sure where this Viper is. Most He's down. hanging out over on the A site for the time being, so they've got to clear out Octagon down towards Long, get this plant off, but without very much forward space. They're going to be playing primarily off site, I think, in this post plant. G2 have a great combo ready, the haunt and the flash. Make this retake a little easier, but 100 Thieves will fight into Elba. Getting active with it. The big engagement is going to come if 100 Thieves push back into CT. Now that the smoke has faded, they can look for their timing on that angle. EU, tight corner. Knife is up. He's got his. A quick retreat. Odds now even in this one, and timer's starting to tick here. Two players towards elbow, one towards long. Leaf's trying to hold it halfway. He's just sticking onto this one. Swing just coming in time. It's one for one. Where are Haunt up. One it tags one. Cryo perfect on the swing. The last man standing is dealt with. 100 Thieves, an excellent post plant to start. That's how you want to kick it off right there. 100 Thieves come in with good post plant and two better to start it off, right? You got Cryo, who looked insane back on the jet last week. Now he's back in his smokes prison, but still finding the kills. And EU with the 3K. The last time he played against this guard core on G2 was in the Ascension Finals, losing that one three to one. But now a little chance to, to win back here on the main stage of ECT. And he struggled there. The, the bottom fragger in that series, the elimination, the end of his season. A chance for great revenge in this match. G2 are actually going for the massive stack again over towards this B site. Something that was very characteristic of G2 uh, during their whole kickoff run was their willingness to play heavy side and then full retake on the other. Their retakes looked very well drilled. This time again on the eco round, stacking five players ready for a full trap in hookah. But uh, 100 Thieves, they've got themselves going fully down towards long, so not trying to run into that. Molly on this exact. Smoke will go towards Hook. It's a question of, does G2 flood? Flash ready to go. They'll hop on out. Haunt broken, but 100 Thieves dealing with this one very well. The trades are clean, and I see we'll find at least two in that one. So a bit of damage, but no round to come of it. Makes it a little messy. Still two Vandals carried over from 100 Thieves. That's good preview, though, I think, of how a lot of these rounds are going to play off, right? Because with all this utility 100 Thieves have for their set execs, the, the Dizzy flying over the top, you've got the, the Haunt that's going to be a difficult thing to break as well, the Mosh that fully clears tube. G2 are going to want to play inside their smokes and then push into them. They wait out that Dizzy timing, go for that fight. On the pistols, getting three kills, not too shabby. I think the big question in this game for 100 Thieves is how good is their on-the-fly ideas? How good is the adaptation? Because we've seen these set plays be good, even against the best teams in the world, like Sentinels, even though they're losing those matches. We saw their AXX look very strong in the past. They've got five rifles on this third round. No bonus, and Asuna going quickly, diving back over towards Showers. IC gets the first kill and still looking for more. Flashed himself into the fight, and the spike has not been planted. It is a mess here on the A site as G2 continue picking up kills. Bang, the only player to try and equalize from back in U-Haul, but he's all on his own, pushing forward. G2 only lose one member. Stunning hold from G2 there. Holding onto Showers control with a comp like this is so pivotal, because when you're flooding back in, you can have flashes from one side with players swinging from showers and from the other flooding back side. It's super effective. And let's talk comp for a second from G2. They're not playing a raise in the duo slot. They're playing this Yoru from Icy. He's getting those kills. And then that means they have another source of flashes on this side of the map. So he can keep fighting forward in showers. They've also got KO flashes over towards B long. They can fight very actively on both sides of the map. Yeah, you saw in that retake, it was a combo of the haunt and that Yoru flash to win out. Early TP play, some Yoru shenanigans. No Actually ended up walking all the way into the corner, sounding like a clone. The TP's out the same. 100 Thieves going fast into U-Haul. Trent has to retreat, but crucially, Shower's control again maintained for G2. I think 100 Thieves want to slow things down for the time being. They've got full control over U-Haul. Where do they want to go? Still hard to break through this once the wall yeah. goes down, then a second cycle of a brimstone smoke. 100 Thieves are taking their time as the rear clear comes into you. 
Great oh. shot out of bang. Just sits him down. And they'll continue playing slow off of that for 100 Thieves. Leaf, though, takes his opportunity and finds one. G2 still have a lot of utility to fight back in with the flashes once I hear that tap. 100 Thieves are waiting for the next cycle on this Viper Wall going down before it, at least faking a tap on this plant. Haunt over the back. Doesn't see too much. They fake it on through, but G2 haven't gone for the swing yet. Notice Trent's position fully flashed up behind Triple and putting down volleys as Clock continues to dwindle away. This delay is ridiculous. G2 swing at the perfect times, cut down a. for a double. Under Thieves will trade back, but they just can't get that plant Left. under control. Down Trent's ahead of it, and they've taken care of the hit yet again. Lovely discipline by G2. And 100 Thieves just kind of getting like stuck that, in that area for too long. You know, they were hoping by waiting a little bit more time, maybe they threatened there could be a lurk going up into B, maybe we can TP over onto that side of the map. And G2 won't go for the hard stack on A, but they're not familiar with G2's game. G2 are very happy just leave that one player over towards B, get this heavy stack and win yet another fight. Heavy playing from backside. One enemy remaining. Survivors rest. Yoruwalt, the first to come online here for G2. You can combo a lot of ideas with that one. It's gonna be a fight towards long though. Dizzy broken. Do they wanna pop through just a haunt? It's excellent. Asuna is down. That's a big player to lose early for 100 Thieves. Yeah, I see chucking a flash into the mix as well. Comboing up some utility there, and 100 Thieves haven't been able to get any space anywhere on the map. Jonah P doing a great job of locking down a short with the knife very hard for Bang to lurk up with his wall when the second he throws that up for a few too many seconds, you've got a knife shutting you down and no space to be had. Yoru gate, gate crash ready to go. Rotate over towards this B site. And that's the other beautiful thing about this Yoru, is you always have three players. You're playing with six players effectively, three on each side of the map, thanks to that teleport. Unless 100 Thieves can find these windows to attack when that ability times out. Right there. There's my buddy. Dizzy recovered for Bustio. Yeah, they're trying to fake a two-phase hit into this area of the map. In five seconds, they could threaten to Dizzy, but the entire time, we're actually working over into that B site. 2-2 two -two split for the time being, but G2 have not flinched. They've still got Valen and Trent here to hold. That's a great mauling. Players towards long going to be stalled. First wave left. of utility in, and no one's even past the start line. Second wave initiated. 100 Thieves fight forward. Bustio for a double. It's 3v3, but I see straight it out. Trent biding his time, swings through the smoke and falls, and his teammate's gone too. Down to one. Spike planted. And he's going fast, Leaf. Welcome Backside. A viper world. spit in front of him. Molly and a tap on the spike. Leaf spamming, but Bang's gun's better. Yeah, Bang just follows those tracers straight through the pit. Gets the easy kill. That was a, a really solid round from 100 Thieves. We saw yet again G2 trying to flood out of every smoke, but 100 Thieves, their fundamentals were very strong. Even after losing that first player, they're holding every single smoke. So even a guy like Jonah stepping through that, players jumping through elbow as well. They shut it down. This gecko gives Busio so many options as an IGL, having those cycles back online every 10 seconds. It's the reason they made that call happen. And Thrash is now available. EU and Cryo not far off their old side, so they're going fast up into Hook here, jumping out and escaping is Jonah P. But they can reclaim that one relatively easily from inside Hookah, especially now that the smoke goes down. At 15 seconds of the round, getting two Broomstone smokes is a huge, huge win. But look how many alts G2 have. They're really comfortable to just flood retake off that utility. And you can combo things, right? Nightfall with Icy popping out. He's gotten ahead of Bang, I think. He is all the way out from showers. Toxins going up. But does he want to keep going? It feels like he's maybe leading a walk back over in the A site, so he doesn't want to keep hunting too far ahead. Boys and orb the position he's in right now is absolutely gorgeous. Thrash isn't done with you! It's a fake over into that B side for now. Thrash dealt with fast and whoa, look at that! Ultimate used, Asuna sort of abandoned on site. Valen swings and gets the kill. And we're now in a five on four situation from G2. You still have that lurk going on all the way back from short. You also have this gate crash. That's a fast rotation. Leaf activated. Bustio walking Spike up. Planted. It's a game of timings. And Leaf misses his chance. Now a lot harder to make this retake happen. 4v4. Still a Yoruwalt to work with. It'll be a flash out from heaven. Fear. 
hot front sight. Lucio will reply with a wave of his own, but Icy wins it over Bank Trade is good, and time is ticking. Trent flashed off the line yet again. Lucio ready to fight for more. The IGL gets a second. Now 2v2. Spike tapped for the first time. EU decayed, and they know that G2's off, but have to find it. They timing, they're deafened. They can't hear a damn thing, but Trent swings at the right time. Bustio! He reigns it in! Finds the spray just in time. And the leader wins the round for 100 Thieves. The only way he's gonna win that one with the wide swing. Taking down the planter first with the diffuser. Rather. And I mean, what a what a demonic round here. We've got ults on, ults used over towards this B site. Because G2 really did think it was going to be that B exact. But then Bustio going on the late lurk, dealing with the walk up from the other side. Somehow it all works out in the end. Running out of bullets, just heartbreaking. But even then, there was no time. Gotcha, baby. Wait, you guys are nice. <laughs> Bustio getting the vibes up early. Big win condition for 100 Thieves. I got you. As G2's money's gonna be reset, down to an eco here. Yet another round where G2 are heavy stacked over here. We've got a flash ready to go. Low buy, but actually Icy comes around the corner. No flash necessary. Maybe a second one just to get him out of that angle. G2 win another fight down long and find themselves with another numbers lead. And look at this setup in Hookah. All five players are for that is of 100 Thieves stuck out towards long. We'll try and make this hit happen. Bang, it sees the util is just so good from G2 to delay, but can they follow it up with a kill? Not quite. Wingman going in and gets his mission done. Plant wheel come down and bang. Ahead of where Trent expects him. It's a big kill in that one. Now the players flooding out are taken down 100 Thieves again, maintaining good control of this round. Just a matter of recovering that spike and closing the deal. Bustio's got to do it himself at the very end. Poor Wings got cut down right at the last second. But 100 Thieves are showing some of that strength that, that we saw from them during kickoff on the traps or a chamber, but it gives you a little bit more flexibility to go for these early lines. He's gonna be posted up inside of showers, looking for that forward line quickly into this round. Change his mind. No operate. All that for nothing. No. Nope. Why do I even bother? Haunt <sighs> here. You. No flash to combo it. It doesn't catch anything. Actually, a C's ult committed. It's fast into the site. Asuna over the top rocket. Connects onto Trent. He's mollied from his own team. And there's still a player, a problem in the U-Haul. Hunter Thieves, though, winning every fight. Asuna, he's electric in the backside. That is 100 Thieves' classic A-short exec. Double ults go flying in, and Asuna gets all the way back underneath heaven. Even after getting that first kill, G2 not anticipating him playing right on the outside of the smoke. I love that idea from him, especially right as G2 tried to flood into the site. I love these pace chains from 100 Thieves thus far. These guys have been throwing so many rounds where they're showing early pressure towards A main or towards B long with that first dizzy cycle, then doubling back, throwing these late round fakes. And now they change up, go for a very classic 100 Thieves hard hit and own. They absolutely do. One save for Jonah P. That was coming. They had an eco round the one before this. Took the timeout. Had some money for this one. Not looking so hot for the rest. And honestly, for G2, I, I was kind of liking the idea of taking the off and trying to fight more forward angles. Because it feels like the last few rounds, G2 have been heavy stacking one side of the map, playing for these trap ideas around Hookah, around B Long and then flooding out of smokes on the retake. They haven't been doing a lot of forward fighting. Apart from that round, they fought all the way down on B long. And Op could change that look somewhat, but I don't think that's really going to be the idea for G2 yet again. Viper's pit committed towards A short, but 100 Thieves again going back towards this B long default. How do they want to work back into this Viper's Pit on short? They do have the Thrash. The one tool to really get you through that pit. Leaf's movement is going to be so important here, though, because he's got the Judge, so he cannot Thrash break Thrash. Down. That's just not going to happen. So if he can somehow dodge out of his pit, get back into it, then he has a chance here. How fast right are the there. feet? I think they might want to wait. They've got two players in showers oh, scaling yeah. up now. And move. now they can try to clear into the space. Old committed and actually broken. I think a little bit of spam coming through there to help out Leaf. 
He's stuck towards the corner. Avoids every piece of you tool thus far. Still spam coming in, but at this point, Hunter Thieves have no way to get through. 40 seconds, they're not going into B. They're grouping up over in showers now with four players. Maybe some late scouting from EU down on A short, and they can wait. They're not even gonna have a second cycle of the thrash because it got shot down. For G2, this round is on Icy. A position, top truck, Asuna, what an entry! The Yoru's down. It's only a judge for Leaf. This round becomes so difficult. This bank fights forward for more, and Leaf continues to find himself in trouble. Cryo's watching it. No chance in hell to escape his pit. Trent's caught the walk up on the flank. Being scouted out, but wins it with the stinger. Still four players left alive. He's running down to pick up a rifle. The clock's just simply too low, though. They know it's over. G2 called the save. It's looking a bit dire for G2. Remember how their, their two maps versus EG started off, by the way. They won all four pistols in their series. They won three out of the four bonus rounds they played. Like, G2 was running away with games from the start. This is the first time post-kickoff that we've seen them just getting slammed from the get-go. Yeah, that second map against EG, 13 to three. That's yeah. what they're coming off into this map. Hasana has been ridiculous to them. He, he's a guy who's often criticized for some of the inconsistency he can find switching around different roles. But when he is on, 100 Thieves look legit. Icy's been sitting on this ult for so long now. G2, the rounds have been falling apart before they've even been getting those retakes underway. Maybe a chance to fight heavy down B long here. I'm seeing Icy, I'm seeing Trent playing with each other. Maybe another look at a flash combo with a haunt to pick someone off B long, but... 100 Thieves aren't geared up in that area. That's what they looked for. Icy did spend that flash, but they didn't see anything. And now I think 100 Thieves Once might want to scale us. back into that space, right? They're grouping up to maybe work down into long here, leaving Hookah abandoned. And maybe even reading that Icy, after throwing that flash, has leaned over into this A side of the map. Because whenever Icy's been playing on B, it's usually been playing up in that cubby, so the Dizzy would have seen that. Now we've actually got that Yoru coming back over into the B side. And 100 Thieves can get this take underway. Again, good molly to stall from G2. That'll cancel out this first wave. But Asuna, double satchels in the second wave of utility ready to set him up. Oh, Pops, Icy's gonna go forward into this one. Scouts out information, but they're trying to get ahead of him. 100 Thieves fighting into the site. Asuna caught on the entry, and Icy now an issue behind them. They can't hear. That's a haunt committed, as well as the Nightfall and Fallon fighting forward for three. The leader steps up when he's needed. It's a flawless round G2. I think Trent's gotta be the hero in that round. First of all, he gets the kill on Asuna from atop the ticket, but that unlocked the Nightfall. Nightfall comes out immediately, and in the chaos of not being able to hear anything, being decayed, playing off of his own haunt there to get that kill. That was so nicely done from him. And you see that decay is so critical. All these kills, body shots for Valen, but it's enough with that decay, with the haunt, lovely combo. But that's the difference. Trent gets that first kill against Asuna, unlocks the ult. The previous rounds, Asuna's been getting into sight and always winning out in those openers. So a bit of a break for G2. Still two left in the half, a chance to salvage this to a 5-7. They showed this once before. Fake clone that's actually a real Yoru into the teleport, but he can always TP out. Flashbang. Cool. Nice shot by Jonah. Won't connect onto a kill though, Free but that's good class. damage. And but the Yoru and the KO retreat. Yeah, we just sent a Prowler down a short that saw absolutely nothing. So I think G2 are now grouping up to maybe fight more forward into B long. They are expecting the B lean now from 100 Thieves. And the few times 100 Thieves have gone B, it's been heavy through long every time. Jonah. Makes contact. And 100 Thieves are just gonna walk up on this one. Dizzy, ready to pop through the smoke. Icy is so blind. No, TP to get out of this one, but just in time, he arrives. Jonah still in the smoke, though. Big wants to make another go of this one. Icy has a flash to set him up if they want to go for this one. Ult committed. Fight through. Oh, oh, oh. Two shut down before they can escape through the teleporter. It's gonna be an attempt for a pivot, though. This entire round would hinge on Bang. If Bang on A-Short was able to find some kind of a kill, maybe they have a chance. Cryo takes matters into his own hands, though. A 2v2 over on this B side of the map. Yeah, they've changed their mind now. 30 seconds Going left. Going back Pick. into B. Uto ready for the re-exec. 
or at least trying to show the heavy util here and then teleport back into that A-Site. A-Site is now weak. It is just the Viper. It is just Leaf for the time being. But there's Molly Sasson. There's only 15 seconds left, Mimi. The clock is going away. Wingman's going to go in there. And if, if G2 can get in front of this and take down Wingman, this round might just be over. No! Bang! Defends Wingman! The spike has been planted. 100 Thieves still have a chance. It's Cryo versus two. Getting active, finding his. He has a Molly to play with. Icy has nothing. The first tap now. Icy looking for half. He gets it to half. Another fake, and now the Molly. That's a lot of time. Icy's got to go on the offensive. But look at that. Cryo's backed all the way out. The clock is moving. The clock is moving. And Cryo now back on the hunt. Icy looking. Pulls off. No, he can't go for the full stick. Cryo waits him out. Icy can do nothing. The clock goes down, and Icy's got it. He wins the fight in just the nick of time. To keep G2 in this one. Only a few Last seconds away for G2. But the rookie steps up. Having the game that people expected from this prospect. One enemy down remaining. And out. And that was a ridiculous round from 100 Thieves. Yeah. I, I think three or four times, re-changing their mind on where they want to commit towards B, towards A. And honestly, G2, in these last few rounds, I think he's been handling it very well. And a big part of that is this Yoru and how Getting fast through. those rotates can come with the gate crash. Icy's so coming in yeah. immediately. He can fight showers early, get back over that B site quick. 100 Thieves, though, tempo change after these slow rounds, blitzing it over into the A site. No control of U-Haul just yeah. yet, and Icy gets fear. the opener. Or fighting coming, Leaf, one for one. Break spike on the haunt. Trent can't hear a thing, and that spike timer begins to tick. 3v4. In comes the pit for Bang. He becomes the danger man in this round. How long can he stay up? How much can he do? Great angle there from Bustio. Evens out the odds and buys a bit more time. He'll escape. No! Trent, at the last second, catches him through the smoke. Tap on the spike. Spam coming in. Bang! They're so close to him, and Valen knocks him down. Mahini yeah. showers. A chance oh! for revenge. Down to a 1v1. Trent has to hold this one halfway. The Prowler in his face. He hops off. The time is ticking. And he gets it done. He couldn't in Ascension. Switching but sides. here with 100 Thieves, he bests G2. EU crushes that opening pistol round and clutches it up at the end. The Red Bull clutch for EU. And it starts off looking great, right? Icy gets that first kill, but then all the gets the pandemonium of this Viper's pit. EU repositioning from showers where he'd previously been seen to short, and getting those two kills was gorgeous. G2. They might have just kept themselves in this one, but it's still 8 to 4 up for 100 Thieves, heading into that defensive half. Before we get there, the analyst desk. We're apt at those pistol Satchel. rounds in the game versus EG. Four for four. It's fast down short. Asuna satcheling forward, but Valen was not caught by the flash, and he shuts him down. Talk about, about a guy that was money last week. It was Valen. Now EU out of showers, and Valen also the one to take him down. G2 responding to that aggression perfectly. lucio has got an angle, but he has to get ahead of that haunt. G2. Two it's Valen again. There's five players around Va Valen, and somehow he's still the guy that gets the kill. He's down on six HP. He's grabbing an ult orb. He's up to four out of eight on the brimstone. The screen, and there's still time to play with. He's got a plant. He's clearly got two more kills left to him. Hell, if he gets over towards B long, he could get ult for round two. <laughs> I don't know if they'll orb max that much. There is a big flank coming here from Bang. And Leaf not watching the right angle turns. Oh boy, it gets awkward. But Leaf finds the timing. And now poor Cryo has too much to do. G2. Big pistol round. Honestly, 100 Thieves kind of shocked me coming out of that. Playing so fast out the gate. But uh, G2 did a great job responding. Fallon now 5 out of 8 on that orc with the death. And again, like, he was fully exoed in that first fight. Got that one, came in for the trades eventually. Down towards showers. Down and out. That is boning fantastically for a round three here. High chance Valen has the ult on line for that round. Let's go. Come on, guys. Valen again top in the scoreboard. This guy's the IGL, but he can do it all. Ustio? All right. 
stun I shot there on the icy with Lucio's the Lucio's like, I'm an IGL too. <laughs> he can do it too. <laughs> I can also do it all. If he gets another, that would truly be ridiculous. Wait, Kyle what? gets one with a classic. How's this happen? There's a flank coming quickly too. This round is suddenly dangerous for G2. Molly's trying to flush 100 thieves out, but they're still chilling back and they're biding their time for oh, to short. Bangs made it all the way up, peeking on through the smoke, but Leaf is holding him. G2 back with the numbers advantage on the hunt. His low players corralled in backside. G2 mop it up. It was a 3v5 for them somehow. Yeah. Kind of a little scary there. I learned something. Never right. in doubt. Never in doubt. All the plan, because uh oh, Valen Valen. Is now. Yeah, that makes sense. Now unfortunately for they actually bought pretty heavy into that round, a lot of SMGs, so it's one real gun on Icy. And then the ult. But what even is a real gun? They can all get it done. We saw it with Boostio, we saw it with Cryo. Hunter Thieves also buying a lot of sheriffs into that round. Together. Have quite a few players on half armor here. That they do. One Molly on Bang as well, so not perfect in the utility camp. Notice how 100 Thieves are going to be playing this, this A site. Very deep positions held here. They've got tons of Mollies to be able to stall out a plant, but they're effectively getting full control of U-Haul. It really all comes down to this stall and EU. I think just off the hop there. Finds a kill through the smoke onto Trent, and I see us no way to trade that one on out. It is attrition for 100 Thieves as they slowly flood back, and the util setup for Cryo is lovely, and they have dealt with this round. Poor Jonah, just a specter, and not a chance in this one. I like 100 Thieves' read there, playing heavy back sight. I think one of the things that G2 are going to be missing with a comp like this by not running the raise is you don't have the ability to dive up on top of that truck and fight into back sight easily. No, you have to TP right in front of it, and that's where you play out the round. So then these fights into back sight are a lot harder to win. 100 Thieves can play heavy for gunfights, can play heavy volley denial on the plant, and sort of force G2 over into them. That's probably going to be a continual thing over towards A. With this Yoru as well, one thing it gives you is the ability to kind of send the player one side, fake out, apply more pressure than there is, and then immediately teleport back to the strong side and go for an execute. Yeah, what that means is I see look for a pick over in showers, and if you can't find it in your timing, if 100 Thieves don't creep up into him, he just snaps that TP, look at him, already back over to exec into B. Molly's traded both ways. Ooh. That Dizzy gonna be unrecoverable. Yeah, that's a good spot. Valen has the ultimate as well. How close is he gonna use that? 100 Thieves, there is nowhere to run as Icy comes on through the wall. Finds two. Bustio stuck, tethered underneath the tube. Yeah. And Valen takes him down. Everything about that execute was perfect. The double flashes coming over the top for both Jonah and Icy combined with that haunt into the seas. Everything caught on. G2 is really cooked up some great combos with this composition. I think having the ability to have two different players who can bring that synergy with Trent's Haunt to basically guarantee you're getting a scan every time gives you so many options in the mid round. There's just too many things to do if you're uh, an anchor and you only have one teammate with you, right? Like, who's breaking that Haunt? Who's turning the flashes? Who's playing up close? A lot that you can lose track of in those tense moments. So though 100, 100 Thieves with a fairly comfortable lead, lead at the time being. Admitting. And be holding on to some guns. They've got enough money to buy into the next. Cryo's not far off that ultimate either. Still, this map is lean, pretty attack sided, and G2's comp, I think, gives them a lot of options on this attacking side. A comeback definitely becoming possible here. Yeah, so far in America, uh, Bind is the second most attack sided map, right behind Lotus. Lotus sitting pretty at 58.5% over on attack, Bind 56%. Not so lopsided, but still, still something to keep track of in this. I think a lot of it is because I, I think a lot of our comps that we've been playing have been skewing a little bit more aggressive here in Americas. Uh, a little bit more aggro pieces. We don't play much of the, the Cypher into sight, especially because that clone is supported a lot on this attacking side. Thankfully, was just a quick pause. We're back into things here. And for 100 Thieves, this is a pretty critical round. Their money's on a knife edge. They lose this round where... Likely looking at an even game. Yu is also just playing right on the outskirts of that knife over towards B-Long. Don't believe he was scouted out. There's a couple different options you can do with that early KO knife. We, th we just saw one that was thrown right about there for full info on Long, but you can also throw one that hits both Octagon and Hookah if you want to go for a split like this and save a little bit of utility if you don't get a ping. 
less precise information, but if it doesn't see anything, very effective. But with this comp, you can have a combo like that, the Flash and the Prowler, and then you still have KO Flash Haunt or another Flash Prowler. Yeah. There's just so many layers to the combinations. And I think especially like after nerfs to stuff like the, the raised paint shells, it's way less reliable that you're actually getting kills off of those kinds of utilities. So sure. having flashes to actually take active fights can be really potent. Poison's off. Little bit of pressure put towards A, but it's gonna be a rotation back over towards B with this Brim still entrenched towards Huka. Yeah, it's being read just a little bit here. Bustio moving back over towards this B side. G2 are gonna need to go fast here. Good Molly's to stop the flood and Jonah P gets that opener. Haunt cleared off from EU and a TP in from Cryo picks off the straggler in leap. Cryo's all the way back from behind and he has the ult the second they drop here. The second they look for the plant, he can unleash that ult. And here comes the flood off of it. Ox in a backside, but EU finds time. a massive There's one. There's no time! 11 seconds! They need a plan now! Trent's found a big kill. There's still players on this site that need to be taken care of. Five seconds, spike on the floor. 100 Thieves deals with it. Wow! Cryo monstrous on that flight there, jumping straight through the teleport. Got a beautiful timing on Leaf, who dropped all the way from short over towards Hookah. And that gives him the ult. It was so nice, because the ult too, you'll see in the replay, it fully clears all of backside and creates a perfect little lane for his teammates to jump out of. They can go straight through from that. If anyone from Hookah is watching those players flood, Cryo is going to be shooting them in the back off of the timing. That is a great on-the-fly call. Another little aggro piece here for 100 Thieves. Thrash Roomba, fight down short. Austin are gonna try and follow that one up, and he gets a kill onto Valon, and he'll retreat. Revenge from the pistol round. Asuna is back. And now Valon without the smokes. All G2 have is this Viper Wall to work down A short. Not an easy sight to play without those smokes, especially when you can't reliably take control over backside. They might try to scale all the way Who's down next? into Yuhal and play it out from there, or just pop that Yor ult for the clear. Icy's gonna get asked to do a lot yet again. Flash towards front sight. Your ult will clear out. Lucio is there, you took Good combo. Combo. Nice combo. Oh. Spam too, but Icy's blindsided by Cryo. Swinging back through from showers. Minute left on the clock, and Asuna picks up another. They're struggling to win out on this one, but you do get a critical kill. That's Asuna taken care of. And now back into a 2v3. They've got to wait for gas for Leaf if they want to have a chance of escaping out from here. 100 Thieves should know they're stuck over Just on short. There you have it. The wall up. They have a chance to make it on out, but look who's awaiting them over towards B. Because of Bang's position, 100 Thieves can leave two players left. over towards A. And Bang's got to be good for one here. It's a stinger, though. He needs it. And no one has a gun out. Leaf falls, but the trade is there. Trent in the clutch. We've seen this one before. Where are 15 you? seconds. Haunt to buy time to go for this plant, but a teleport comes in from behind. The pressure is on, the crunch is on, and EU finds the kill. The haunt and the spam. I've been so impressed with EU's utility throughout this match. It seems like every time he's throwing a haunt, they're getting value. And they don't have the same tools that G2 has to combo. Sure, you can throw a dizzy haunt, but most of the time those pieces of util are getting invested alone. And still, he's picking these great timings to get value off the spam. It's timings where no one can be shooting it, really. Right there, it's while a planter's, a player's trying to plant the spike. And on defense, he was throwing it a lot as players were diving into the site, so that no one's looking behind them to spam that through. We got a lot of first kills anchoring over towards B that way. G2, walk up towards Hookah. This is Asuna's responsibility, and he's pushed off the line, just a stinger in his hands. G2 might try to invest some ult here and win this round. Nightfall and the Null Command. Asuna taken very low, but Bang is still looking for it. With Icy down and more space oh, taken towards Octagon. I mean, if, if G2 can't push Bang out of this position, they're not getting into the site. No haunt available for now for G2. They're gonna have to Poison's wait off. up here and try and let that utility recharge. And at this point, I don't know if we're using ults. The buy is bad, the players are low. And walking back over into A now. Keep your eye on that player in U-Haul, Cryo has been lights out this game. All four players contacting into Cryo's line of sight. Out of charge. Spots the first. Damage taken from the Sheriff. Second swing, that is excellent support out of Bustio. 30 seconds. Cryo will continue to fight, but Leaf 
finds the right timing to take him down. 25 do seconds, this plant needs to be committed. And he follows up on Lucio's utility again. Every one of those peaks supported. 400 Thieves, excellent stuff. Match point. 100 Thieves seem to have such a strong game plan and sort of a group buy-in of how they want to play the game, uh, especially on this map, which you know is good for them. Like playing full util stall, not rushing their fights. I don't feel when they know they have the opportunity to stall out and play off of their, their utility. Instead, waiting for the swing to come in from Asuna to fly through. Very, very risky, very hard to support that effectively. And that's why almost always you'll see shorter TPs into truck, into U-Haul, as opposed to going all the way back towards heaven. The only time they can really push back site is when they have your wall. We saw that get punished in the last round because everyone in main gets stalled. Yeah, they, they could change their smoke patterns because they've been doing really deep pipes and heaven smokes. Maybe do the double smoke on site and flash through on the fight, but that assumes the 100 Thieves isn't fighting you before that because right now Asuna up on truck is ready to take a very early line down short. Map point 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves very stacked over towards the A site, but now they can move EU back over here with the Viper Orb up in Hookah as well. It's very hard to take sand control because if you haven't flushed out, if you're if you're G2 and you haven't flushed out that area, well, then Rays could just throw paint shells through that space with a Molly combo, with the, the decay of the orb there too. You're just gonna get stalled out perma, so they need to come back into A short and force players away. We see the setup yet again. Fade Haunt ready to come over the top. A rocket for Asuna. Yeah. A swing out from Cryo. This is really tough to break through. But they're yeah, going too. for it. They need time and watch the teleport. They're going to Nightfall TP in the backside. Is it committed in time? Can they get something for it? There he goes. Asuna's down. TP committed. No one can hear. And Cryo is taken care of. That's a great start for G2. But now on the flank, a Viper creeping forward. Bang to try and pull this round back into control. Looks up on short, anticipates a player there, and Bustiel finds one on the other edge of the pit. Two on four now, as 100 Thieves move back into the space. Wingman's on defuse. Wingman on. Bustiel looking forward, but Leap takes him down. This one's not gonna go to 100 Thieves. G2 are still in it. What a lovely combo there. Changing the TP pathing perfectly in time with their Nightfall commitment. And, ha and then just having great positioning in this post fun. Yeah, and you're not going to get a, a TP like that unless your Yoru scales through showers. That was so important that they split up 3-2 at the start there. And they finally got the backside fight. It's a great timeout call. Josh RT comes in with a plan. And that's the first time we've seen G2 really fighting for that space in showers. For the most part, it's been these strong side takes that haven't been working. But can you do it again when you don't have the nightfall because now you've got to be comboing that with just flashes going into the back site 100 thieves bad buy for them this time around although some ults to dip into if things get close yeah asana's rocket could prove critical here Oh, the TP is. Trap. Okay, this is fast from 100 Thieves, but Trent has dealt with it. That's massive from the man, but the trade comes through. Now, Bang has recovered a rifle. It's a 3v3, and they're into A. Cryo would be the hero here for 100 Thieves outside showers, going for that late wrap down short. This may come in faster than expected, but I think G2 are going to turn around because players could have pushed through on sand. They're ready for it. If he kills Jonah P, he has ult, but he Saw needs shoulder. to win this fight. And it's going to be tough. A Viper wall in front of him, Jonah holding with support. And now this round becomes all the more difficult. 100 Thieves, no util to work with. Just walking into sight, Bustio. What a shot to find. Balance down, Leaf swinging into the front sight, but that smoke still delaying, and Bang is gone. Bustio was separated. And this should be nigh on impossible. Bustio will hop into the sight, and Fall to his demise. Probably the most important round of the game coming up for G2 now. Still down three, but it's buy versus buy. 100 Thieves have four heavy hitting ults ready to go. 100 Thieves just showed a bit of a sand trap look I was talking about previously. So now G2 have unlocked a little bit more of the playbook, anticipating more of these ideas, but 100 Thieves have so much to work with now. The question now, what has the World Championship duo come up with in that timeout? What's the call to close this game? Zix and Bustio. The minds of 100 Thieves at work here. G2 are trying 
Alternative strategies out here. They want a heavy open over towards B long. Scout out some control on that side of the map first. But Bang's gonna pit here, and with no Yorwalt, you don't have great tools to clear this. What on earth is this Viper Wall that they threw? Is that just a one chunk Viper Wall from Bang? Wild. Thrown probably from the, the corner there, not giving you a whole lot of space. But with the pit set up over towards B and, and uh, Orb, I suppose, in Hookah, cutting off that area with the time to be able to run over there. I imagine he didn't have time to run to A and set that up before getting back to B. Showers is weak for Hunter and Thieves. And G2 have a lurk posture. Hundred Thieves are holding onto short so, so heavy here. They can scout it out with a dog here. Dog notes one player shooting that one away. And the question is, what is the timing on the showstopper? Can Lee find anything from Showers? The answer is no, and now the smoke blocks off his view completely. Austin has a showstopper of his own. If he activates it at the right time, he can oh. close this map. But it's a rotation yet again, G2. Are they heading back towards B? The Nightfall committed. It'll only ping one. Yeah, sees one player. The rotates are going to come in. 25 seconds on the clock. And Austin up through the teleporter. He gets his before being burned down. But it's still just 20 seconds. There's no control over long for G2. 17 seconds. They have to commit now. And 100 Thieves has arrived on this site. That ult is perfect. Cryo tries them on the entry. 10 seconds. There's no time. There's no chance. 100 Thieves. Map number one is there. Defenders win. Chucked over to him. It is all on his back from the get go. A little raid boss action to start. And him and Jonah B holding hands. See that most of the Here. Instantly, the camera just being broken in main. I don't even think we've got to see really anything off of that one. G2 aren't going to be playing their hand too early in this one. They've got the Viper all over towards B that they can try to lurk in front of. Not going to be allowed this time around, though, with Asuna playing up in front of it. And instead, just looking for an eventual 2-3 split over into this A site. Getting quickly up into mail to force a player back and maybe pull a rotation off of that A site. While these three players start to creep up. Oh boy, wow, Leaf gets through there somehow. I have no idea how he's lived through that endeavor. That is wild. There's no smoke on heaven right now either because G2 went really quickly on that timing. Still get the plant off, no problem. Breach is still sitting down in sewers. So it'll be a very late reflank. We'll keep tabs on that as 100 Thieves are going to set up for this set retake. Caged. Haunt, Dizzy, Smokes. They have the whole nine yards to invest into this one. But can they go quick enough before Jonah P arrives? Molly, that'll be the first stage of stall, but Asuna is past it to Cade and taking a lot of damage. This refight is excellent out of G2. Here comes Jonah, up the ropes, waiting for his timing. Saw the back of a player walking through, and we're in astral form. Cryo falls, Jonah gets his and dips away. Now it's a fight on the site, and G2 is winning them all. One that wingman remaining. will be shut down in just a moment as G2 cleanly deal with that post plant. There we go. That's the G2 pistol round that we saw just last week. Four out of four on those. Lost two players at the end. Makes it a little bit less pretty, but pretty good all around. Yeah, I love the protocols on that one. Jonah and Icy initially setting up towards mid, and then some great layers to that one. The second the Util's coming in, they're refighting towards elbow. Isolate this first kill, and that sets G2 up to really close this one out. 
I will say they, they found a bit of a gap over here on this A site. Notice the 100 Thieves is not running a Sentinel in their comp. They usually put their info over on the A side of the map. So when none of that got used against them early, they really found ways to abuse this space. 100 Thieves looking for a bit of a trap in mid on this round on the eco. Very similar stuff to what we saw from 100 Thieves playing this map back during kickoff. That's a cute little trap play there. The Dizzy and the Haunt coming up on the rope for two players, but no one was there to receive. Gonna be going for the safe plant back here. Good wrap for main as an option on this one. Leaf two, you'll see, just holding on the extremities. He's not looking for the flank this time around. Instead, waiting as 100 Thieves get a flank of their own going on, trying to flush out whoever that's gonna be. They definitely weren't expecting Jonah P to be the uh, the rewrap in the last game. You never expect the breach flank. No. I really like Leaf on the Sentinel roll thus far. Feels like it was really made for him. He just has such incredible mechanics when he's anchoring alone. And when you put him on those lurks, he's a player who has such a good idea of the timings of this game that he's really taking the perfect opportunities. Also, I imagine adding a second voice to help Balan out as well. Very vocal player when he's given the chance. Yeah, he, and he was always, even when he was the star duelist on C9, he, he would always flex over, play the odd Sky here, the odd Viper on Bind. Never really too much of the, the Sentinel, as a matter of fact, but it certainly suits his playstyle. Can rely on him a ton. That's good for Jonah to actually sneak that kill onto EU instead of letting him die to spike. One more orb towards that breach ultimate. So now this is really where I, I want to see if G2, their read is just to continue abusing this A site. Uh, again, what I was sort of hinting at is that because 100 Thieves don't have a Sentinel, their setup is almost always to put both their Fade and their Gecko over on A side. And they can do things like use the, the Prowlers to scout out down uh, down ramp whenever that, that wall goes up, whenever any you know lurking like cages are thrown. Them. That's usually how they deal with it. And then you'll see a lot more pairing up of both Trent and Icy to play util combos in mid or in mail. It's always Cryo on, on his own. Over towards that that B site. I meant Austin and Bang. Nade for Austin, ready to go in mid. Got a lot of bodies walking up here from G2. Makes a good timing on that one. Spam gets a little shaky, but he finds his mark and the nade as well. Helping out in that one. So positive trade for 100 Thieves. A lot of pressure on Cryo. Players coming out of heaven through main. He finds the first and covers it over into a second somehow. Trent left all on his own. The spike stuck in hell. Lovely to see those kind of rounds out of Cryo cells. This guy was struggling a little bit. The last time we saw him play Astra in 100 Thieves debut series for stage one. Talk about people that are left on their own. Karayo is isolated all the time on this B site and he loves playing up close like we just saw. Trent has managed to recover the spike though. Planting slightly off the normal line just to try and get something done. Actually dodging all the utility. He wants to go for a kill. Peeks on out of the smoke, gets his, but the 3v1, it's just not gonna happen. So clean round there for 100 Thieves, dealing with the mid-aggression. With some nice util of their own. Very characteristic, yeah. Again, Cryo likes to get in front of the Viper setup over on this side. And they can sort of play with that information that he has to set up more aggressive re-clears on other areas of the map. Yeah, this kind of like new wave of Viper on the map with this lurk wall over towards B that you're, you're always seeing teams throw. It forces you to be a lot more proactive in your B play. 100%. So how do G2 come back in here? I still think uh, threatening lurks up A short, very effective, taking the fight into mid. Also clearly getting the job done for Icy. Yeah, I mean, Asuna just swinging ahead of that. I don't think he even had any use of the support. was just trying to take a fight off the rip. And again, that, that happens a lot with how 100 Thieves play. All their proactive fighting tools are going to be over towards A. Yeah, they've got the, the Astra that can assist globally as they just walk into the line once again. Yeah, no util use for the second time here, and EU stunned up, naded off, he's trapped towards heaven. G2 have a completely open A site. There is a flank coming in, that's the, the only thing to really keep a mind on, but there's also a trip directly in Bang's path, so that's gonna be sold out just as soon as he runs into that one. Honestly, 100 Thieves might be well served to go for a save here, like Bang just play on this, on this trip, look for maybe an exit kill or two, because this round is not looking winnable. And that's just what happens when you have two players walk out, take a forward line, get shut down easily. Round dissipates. 
playing no sentinel on this map can can be quite a challenge on your defense yeah. And, and basically the way 100 Thieves would usually get around this, let's let's pretend they have sure. five players alive, is they're not just walking out into the open and taking their ones. What their comp really thrives with is this mid-range utility. Everyone's got a piece of utility to be able to fight with. So what they'll do instead is very aggressively re-clear down into ramp, through mid, back into B main, these sorts of areas, and they'll try to catch G2 or any team they're playing against before the exec comes into play. That's where 100 Thieves' power is, not the sitting and playing the slow game. But G2 have found a lot of really good time here, just contacting up towards A, finding these pops. When you go for that fast execute and there's not enough players there to flood retake, it honestly makes these rounds really difficult for 100 Thieves to win. It's exactly the right idea for 100 Thieves to go for. I think at the start here, maybe uh, utilizing the, the breach stun, the fault line to get up ramp as an option or fight against early aggression. Because you can see, Asuna wants to fight into A lobby. When they've got these three players ready to go, that's usually some kind of a push play. And it's with two of their only win. rifles in this round. Cam uh -oh. insta broken yet again. Here comes this forward Leaf. fight, but Leaf, he's out of there. Yeah, G2 have to react instantly. Either into B or up through mid, but the Viper Orb in mid has stalled them down. So instead, they creep back over, they take some space into B, but Cryo's still hanging out backside, playing a really nasty off angle on the walkout. He has won the hero rifles in this round. How much can he get done? Nade at his feet, Molly, but he's found the gap in it. Still healthy enough to get something done. Here comes the clearance, Cryo wins the first, but the trade is instant from G2, and now Bang is gonna have that same task ahead of him, and he falls as well, G2. Colleen House, only Asuna. Left and he's getting overwhelmed from so many different Five angles. Planted. A flash in his face, a pit in front of him, only 45 HP. Tried to go for the silent drop, failed it. This clears back into mail. Jonah's not giving him a fight. G2 are fully dialed in here. Making Asuna waste away time and eventually step on out of this one. He might honestly want to fight here. Two players have alt online. He gets a kill, dies. Sure. Could have the raise rocket for the next. You can build ideas around that. Wouldn't be too bad. They've also got the money because it was just a few rifles they carried over from the previous round. I like the read on that one, Mimi, and he's going to have his opportunity. So they're on here through spawn, swinging around the line. He gets his two and escapes with the rifle to boot. Lovely stuff there at the end, but still another round where G2 Take initial pressure, then find the other site, contact in, and find the perfect timing for one of these executes. Great mid-rounding from G2. Had to deal with uh, some some problems here, right? Cryo, the util not quite connecting on him. Also, G2 flooded out onto the site. They one used, uh, uh, or sorry, 100 Thieves flooded onto the site because they used G2's own Viper Wall against them to get them jumping out of heaven. That's how they had so many bodies on the ground so quickly. It looks like coming out of the, the timeout too, yet another look. We've got a bit of aggression point. towards B main. The Rays and the Fade teamed up there with an early smoke to lay claim to that space. And again, G2 tested with this opening of rounds, those slight pivots in the play of 100 Thieves. What is their decision? It looks like it's going to be to re-clear and re-fight into that B main space, where really Austin has just been left on his own. G2 take control towards B main. Again, you see that this Viper Wall is forcing 100 Thieves to be proactive towards B. They have to have a player looking ahead of this one. And Austin is going to get flashed up. Ult's being committed. They're going fast it's a into this hit, but it was never a full commitment. Rocket is there. Asuna has committed it, and Cryo is the only man standing on the site. G2 not looking for him, not hunting for him. The flash is great from Busio towards heaven. This is all falling to pieces. Leaf still left. His spike on the floor. Jonah far away, but he's ahead of the eagle. Finds one. Has to look for more in this one. A swing towards heaven, though. It's too well timed. And 100 Thieves have this one on lock. Bit of a fumble there from G2. Yeah, I mean, it was a cool idea from G2. Again, no sent to util on A means that if you really sell a fake well, and they did two ultimates, they get that opening kill. It looked completely like G2 was executing into that B site. But all it takes is, is one guy in outer space. Rocket Man Cryo setting up stars on the other side of the map. Didn't actually rotate off that A site. 
30 seconds left. So he's able to, to cause cause havoc. You got Busio throwing dizzies through that smoke in heaven with Cryo calling the rotates over. The magic trick just didn't work out for G2. Molly haunted him, eh? There. Asuna can't fight any deeper off of that. I do like these adjustments from 100 Thieves ever since the timeout. Really showing yeah. more forward utility on this A side. Asuna looking for an actual fight up close on that wall. But after not scouting anything out, they're actually rotating back, maybe for a bit of a B re-clear. Maybe seeking out into mid here. They've got a Prowler, they've got a Seize. Boosty has the ultimate, so if they really wanted to send it on a, on a bit of a gamble call, they could. He was actually playing just on the rope there. So if he sees anyone step into vents, I think that's the call, is just let that thrash rip. Cage triggered. Leaf has kept two players on this site. That's going to be main with the thrash to set up Crashy. <laughs> Sorry, Cryo. Toxin screen down. And it does detain onto one, but that thrash is going to be lost. Still 35 seconds for G2 to work with. G2. This lurk. G2 have no time here to get back into the site. Left. They don't have heavy exec ults. They don't have a this lot of utility. This fight is everything, and Trent loses it. Leaf picks one up on the other side, but B is our focus, and Cryo has fallen. He needed to do more. I think There's 15 seconds story. left. Oh, no. ulting over to A. Valen got the ultimate now onto the A side, but EU finds the kill. 10 seconds on the clock, and EU gets them both. He's won the round. The rest of G2, too far away. Another overcook there. M Mimi, how many rounds on the previous map did G2 lose on time? Like, it was, it was a handful. Yeah. They lost a lot on their attacking side, and especially against ults. They would wait into these rounds, and then 15 seconds left, there's still two, three ults ready to shut them down. And I feel like that's a, like the duality of how Valen likes to call his attack sides, right? He loves playing sides really slow, throws a lot of fake rounds into the mix. But sometimes it's a little <laughs> overcomplicated and falls apart. Yeah. I mean, to their credit, like, you don't expect EU to still be on A getting sure. two kills off of the Overlord. But Omanol. that is twice in a row that 100 Thieves kept a yep. player A and win because of it. Yep, 100 Thieves. Very clear their ideas of how to play the map, not over rotating. And that's an important thing with the comp they're running. They've got to trust their sides of the map and still oh, hold their ground against any sort of late lurks or late pivots. And again, you talk about old 100 Thieves, you feel like sometimes they lost that trust. Right? Over-rotating, over-committing to help out their teammates. Losing themselves in those mid-rounds. This team, not so much. Two players in mid, maybe considering a fight off that orb drop, but they elect against it and said just another Molly to stall. 100 Thieves just wanted to show all that pressure, still not giving up the line. You notice if they give up this line into mid, all of a sudden there's a cross that can get over into heaven, and that would put a lot of pressure back on no, EU there, Cryo. Second round in a row he's played there and gotten value out of it. Paranoia towards heaven, Bang has escaped. All this util is for pretty much nothing, as he's gonna actually not be able to get anything out of this one, and neither does Asuna all on Cryo. How's he got three? Seems impossible that he's done so much. Use deafened 30 seconds at least left. one of those players. Spike planted. And Busio's just sprinting. He knows that Jonah can't hear, so he's just running up behind him. So astute from right the leader, there. Valen, though. This is one piece, has to shoot the second. He'll teleport towards main. Shadows traveling. 1v2. He hears both players drop into backside. Wingman available for the defuse. He's gonna stick this Valen, has to fight, finds an opportunity, but misses out. 100 Thieves tie the game. Cryo is just the man for 100 Thieves. Locking down that B site completely, I mean, three kills from the spot he went in, was in was just completely ridiculous. One big dif disadvantage of this solo breach comp is normally when you're going for your B hits with the more usual sky comps or double initiator stuff. Raise Rocket for IC this round. Chance to maybe do something a little bit quicker if they want to. See players posturing towards mid. Yeah, they don't want to do anything too fast with that Rocket, I don't think. We're just looking to, you know, go into a bit of a default here. One, two, two. 
scout out what it is 100 Thieves and what their difference is going to be. Because usually if you see any piece of Fade or Gecko utility not in A main, you instantly know 100 Thieves have made a big pivot. But 100 Thieves really haven't. They're just back to the default they've been going for every single round. It is nothing too shocking for them. Early into the round though, we're already down a Breach Flash. Paranoia and Fault Line not used just yet. So if they want to accelerate or try working back into A, that could be their best bet now. 100 Thieves wants to fight oh. through the smoke. They picked their timing to perfection. And that is a big player for G2 to lose. It's all about those reclears. Bringing down their Viper Orb. Looking for the fight, yeah. leaving the space entirely. Page now, two. how do you force into a site? It's got to be icy with that ultimate. Look at Bustio. Off angle. Do they have the discipline to clear him? Icy's not looking. Know. The rookie has to him, and Bustio's activated. One for one! Icy's killed his teammate! That's your IGL, man. What are you doing? 2v4 now. And he is flooded into backside. He's ahead of this one. Icy's just not looking, and Trent's in trouble. A swing from you. What a blunder. It is just a disaster round for G2 coming out of that timeout. Bustio is just giving him the business from across the stage. He's just laughing at him. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Icy. Uh, I mean, it starts off with that great little play, bringing down the Viper, but two players behind it. Then Icy with the ult remaining. doesn't clear close flower box. So Bustio gets the kill. Then it's a team kill. Eu uses all the chaos of it to sneak into elbow somehow. G2 won four out of the five first rounds in this game. And since then, 100 Thieves has won four in a row of their own. They have control of this defense on split. Flash in, forces Bang off the line, and G2 are trying to go into mail fast, but good flood utility just dominating that space. The spam, the pain shells. G2 are falling apart. Lovely stuff there. 100 Thieves, the util combo is perfection, and I was ready to maybe even fight for more. I mean, you can just see the confidence in these guys. One enemy remaining. G2 need to find some way to hit the brakes and sort of re recover themselves. And maybe it's with Trent. What is he doing? A one on four brought to one on one. Low HP, but Trent cannot carry it through. So damn close. Okay, that's a little way to reset yourself. Yeah, but it's still not around. It's, it's not around, phone. but it gets a little hype going. Can't say no to that after a couple of disasters. One enemy remaining. Good lord, I mean, dude's on one HP! <laughs> Ridiculous. One enemy remaining. He still got it. Clearly. He was never in doubt. Oh, 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 Busio's not, not, not talking anymore. Not oh, anymore. curious. <laughs> what changed, Mimi? I mean, the, the little spark. <laughs> we almost lost that. Big round here for G2, though. If they end this half 8-4, could be signing their own death warrant in this series. 100 Thieves are dominating both mains, though. Trent on his own. Saw with the Sheriff does. He stepped into this space in B main. Two players there, and Thrash was just picked up for Bucio. The orb unlocked that ability for him. G2 have recognized that mid is a gap, though. They can refight into this one. A nasty off angle for EU. Spam to try and bait that no one's in this position. Can he find a shot? It's such perfection out of EU. Oh, it's a nasty trap. The star comes in, the haunt, the thrash to go on down. And but somehow, whoa, this Jonah one. just blasted him! Mid flash, bang on the other side, though, gets two kills, peeking out of his ult. Back in it with the shorty, and he has three! Back up the ramp, looking for Jonah, and a hundred thieves destroy G2. The layers of that round are stunning. It's a trap play towards B Heaven. G2 is pushed back into Heaven, and there's two different players ping-ponging to fight towards B. Oh. Then a Viper Pit in the late round. How, how do you get past them? Absolutely. I mean, the only kill they got was, was an aftershock was on a player. <laughs> <stuck> <laughs> in an ult. 
<laughs> like what on earth? A ridiculous angle for that, but I mean, bang. Low on bullets, switching over the shorty inside the pit is just perfection. I don't get the blood pumping. Another fight for 100 Thieves. Are they going to commit deeper on this one? Just getting that off for Asuna. Another round where they dominate main space. They've got B main. They've got A main. The only gap is into vents. And this could be massive. G2 finally looking to seize space early on. Yet Asuna remains ready for it. 100 Thieves doing a good job of policing this again. Asuna and EU. There. They might want to refight into main here. Off Bustio's contact, they can pop an alt and punish. But that'll activate the midlark. That means the pressure this round is on EU and Asuna on their respective sides. Alt committed, Asuna in. Two kills found. Now here comes the vent players. Up the vent. EU ready for it. Here's those players gunning around the corner. Asuna gets his three. Flawless. And Valid in main. He's cut down to eight, two, four. Hundred Thieves are owning. Switching sides. 100 Thieves just turned up the heat here from round 6 to 12, winning out rounds in a row, off a of Trent, but yeah, it is not a great look. They need to win this pistol. It's a fast hit towards A from 100 Thieves. Dizzy into the site. Asuna has all the space. G2 will play a set retake. Oh, giving that spike over to Asuna. Get that showstopper online. Delayed slightly, but still enough time to get this down before the smoke fades. That's it. And 100 Thieves are going to be looking to play heavy for ramp control into heaven late in the round. G2 have to be ready for it. That refight is everything. But for now, it's the fight on the site. Paranoia for Valen. But more util to stall. Finally, the commitment will come out. Here's the fight towards ramp. That's one. Two for one trades thus far. Icy into the backside of site. But there's still a lurk here. They were raiding for the re-clear. G2 is ready. A tap on the spike. Both players trying to fight up through the ramp. But that spike not being stuck just yet. And a chance for Eve if he can win that duel. But it's just not happening. G2. If they've got one thing, it's pistol rounds. That is very true. Trent's position there coming up really nicely for them. And that, that's a whole idea, right? They're going so heavy through screens, they know that ramp was going to be a weakness. So leaving Trent to be the ultimate rat, right? Like, think of all his teammates, how much of any fights happened up in heaven before he went for that swing. But it's exactly what they needed, that late control. As 100 Thieves try to heat in here, not expecting the Viper to be stuck down in vent. And that keeps G2 very well in this. I feel like we've seen a lot of teams take great learnings from how good Sentinels has gotten at this map. With setting more protocols to punish that ramp room clear that is so prevalent in those A posts. Yeah, especially when 100 Thieves are going to be running with the, the Gecko. So you yeah. can wingman plant and very quickly be fighting forward for screen space, going back into ramps. 100 Thieves can get very mobile with it. Poison. It's going to be a look towards B here for 100 Thieves. And they're walking into a judge. I see. Finds one. It's Spike only one down, great movement B. by Asuna to get ahead. A little stylish from him to get around the corner. Now he's got the judge. Bad news is no satchels. So or or hard to meeting. actually make use of that one on the attack. Poison's off. Actually, Cryo's hung out over in B main with the spike. Or what are 100 Thieves thinking? Because they've got a couple of options. They could try to play this round out and split into that B site. The other option is, and they're going for it, rotate back into A and try to sell a hit so well that you maybe get a plant in. They do not have that much time to work with. The spike actually looks like it's going to join towards A. It's just going to be very late here for Cryo. Here comes the commitment. Coming to take him out. New Sentinel player lead. He's got all the util to stall this one out. Rotates. Cage trigger. Coming in for at least one player. Leaf just flying around in his cages. And he picks the right angle. Good fight on to Bang. And the trip has Ten caught off Asuna. It's only two kills picked up, but the rest of the team has arrived just in time to likely win this retake. Still, EU could be dangerous here. But the Molly is there. Very thorough player from standing. G2. That's a judge, though. The paranoia, he's too close for it to matter, but that's a great teleport out of Valon. The second angle, the difference maker. DP might have saved G2 there. Got a little close at the end, but still using the mollies, doing everything by the books on that retake to keep it as clean as possible.
Now, one thing G2 are going to struggle with a little bit on this defense is getting forward information, right? Because they don't have a sky, you don't have a dog, you don't have a flash, anything like that. They've got a ton of passive info, right? The Cypher setup towards A is always going to have that unlocked. But we may see more lines like Icy just took where he stepped all the way up into B main, where they try to take a little bit more space with their bodies and get a forward posting so that they have a little bit more control, a little bit more understanding where 100 Thieves are trying to play on the map. Yeah, another big strength is, Falm, you were mentioning this in the pregame, the trap plays. You can set up with a camera, have a stun, have a nade. Yeah. There's a lot of different options there, which means that 100 Thieves has to have to be really careful about how they scale. Yeah, even just an idea like they've got right now, there's a fault line ready to go, thrown into B main. Icy gets up into that space. 100 Thieves, though, are seizing mid control. Chugs around the smoke, but it's not going to get anything done. Zosma okay, awesome. finds a quick two. Yeah, big entries out of that, man. Hundred Thieves just making G2 sweat now. You get two kills, you just freeze. Nobody move. You know G2 are gonna have to walk into you. Icy's gonna have to do something. He can't just sit backside B. Too many angles he could be approached from. But Hundred Thieves is heading back towards the A side. This is the strong side. Viper utility. Trip wires. There's still a chance for this round to get dangerous. If they find two players here on this A site, though, they've got enough time to potentially wrap back through Heaven into mid. We'll see what they end up doing here. Paint Shell to try and clear close Cypher utility, but still a trip left on site. As now they go back up into ramps, they're aware of a Viper on this site. Are they going for the read? At the same time, G2 getting some rotates of their own back here. And holding off against the CT push. Left. Trent is alone on site. And that's where 100 Thieves is heading. Asuna, satcheling forward. Trent, full HP. Bustio, his wingman is going to get the spike down as Asuna wins the fight. And he gets a fourth as well. Flawless round, 100 Thieves. That was nice. Going back up into heaven puts the pressure on G2. And then the flood out on the site with wingman, with the satchels. Beautiful. 100, th uh, 100 Thieves, only remaining player of that initial roster, Asuna. He has been with this team since the beginning. He's got a beard now. He's been on the squad so long. <laughs> they actually haven't let him shave. Yeah. They wanted to show the passage of time. But he's still good on the race. Yeah, now he's got a showstopper too. G2, not much in the way of cash. So they just got bodies up in B heaven. It's been a bit of a brawl for mid the last couple of rounds. 100 Thieves putting a lot of players in there themselves. And G2 are trying to get ahead of that this time. It'll be an aftershock. I imagine just comboed with the paranoia here to fight back in. That's only if 100 Thieves activate that trap play. Which for now, they're just biding their time for re-aggression. Yeah, you can't really move out of a Find trap you. play like this on a, on a low buy. You, you gamble it all on 100 Thieves stepping into you. But now, I think 100 Thieves have sussed it out because you saw a very forward camera placed. That's unnatural from Leaf. And then also, you're not scouting anything in vents. Hold on. We an we're anticipating it's a bit of a B stack, something like this. Maybe stepping back into me B main to try and clear Boss that out. Down. Bang has a 1v1 ramp here. Leaf just a frenzy to work with. Good clearance. Uh, and now they've got to go back into A. You don't know if it's just the one player one that B side is open. Even the wall to guarantee this plant. Ooh, check out where Austin is playing. Boost himself up on that box there with the coverage given by the wall. That is going to be a nasty angle to play off of once this wall comes down. Oh, no! Jonah P steps through the smoke for one. But it was only one. Three left alive. But they've recovered two weapons here. A guardian and a rifle. E on the off angle. Lines up a double. I, I think just a little a high, high low there. That is lovely stuff for 100 Thieves. Yeah, Valen got a kill over on the flank. The bang was holding out for, but uh, yeah, that high-low, a little bit too much to deal with. That's not one you run into all too often. The little things this series for 100 Thieves Cover have been really out. good. Setting up these high-lows when they have time. Yeah. Going for these kind of individual re-clears in the late round. Doing a great job of comboing their utility. This is a team that has grown so much from the failure that was their last season. Look, the, the Copers are going to keep coping. 100 Thieves had the group of death, but honestly, they had so many but close the, the games. The cope is real. The cope is real. I, I, I believe in it. They had Sentinels twice in a row. Yeah, that's brutal. Close games both times. Very true. Now doing very well up against a G2 that just dismantled EG last week. Like, there's no two ways to put that. I said it was just staring at him for a second there. Rocket for Icy. 
He has had a tough second map. He's Six ready. and 11 thus far for the run. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's had a tough few maps so far on the debut. Right now, just set up for a big fight in B main. Do they snap it off the rip? There they do. Ult goes in, but does he clear the close box? They're all around the wall and he can't get it. That's another ult this game where 100 Thieves just tuck themselves into a close corner and get that easy kill. He got a kill last time. Yeah? It was on Valen, but... <laughs> Maybe you can't do that to him. <laughs> All right. 4v4 now. That was a big trade to pick up for Valen. Oh, look. 100 Thieves have been stalled out for now. G2 comfortable to maybe move back over towards that A side of the map, but 100 Thieves really just freezing. They've still got their Showstopper. They've still Shadow got Thrash. This B side is going to be hard to hold on to. I'm honestly a little surprised G2s are still committing bodies into this area of the map. No charges. With Cryo dead, there's no smokes to walk up into mid here, so it just has to be a contact oh, yeah. from 100 Thieves. Yeah, we're looking to split hit. Thrash in from B main. Showstopper can blitz it up into heaven if they want. And these players are going to fall. Valen goes down. Still, backside is Trent holding on to that line. He gets his one and a second. He's keeping it together from on site, but now it has been cleared. Wingman plants a spike. Leaf joined by his teammate now, both through spawn. EU up top to hold this one. Great first kill. Last Leaf trades onto one. He's low on HP. They're both one shot. And Leaf gets it done. He's still a star. That is heroic from Leaf. I mean, 2v2. How did G2 get in there? They've got no utility whatsoever, but Leaf takes his time approaching that fight. Stays cool in the moment when it was about to run away from 100 Thieves. Again, a swing round right there if they had lost that one. But the combined efforts of Trent on site getting two kills, where there's a Thrash coming his way, a showstopper, tons of utility. And the close from Leaf is good. This is a A pivot in the setup now from G2. Cypher you till over towards the B side of the map, and another aggressive look into A main. It's gonna be a brawl. Nade, stun, both sides investing a lot of utility, but it's dead even. Space taken for 100 Thieves, G2 retreating to site, but Asuna up ramp. Heaven is a gap. It's just Trent underneath those ropes holding on to it for now. 100 Thieves have been very measured in their approaches, right? They're not instantly blitzing into the site after they see those two players. There could still be a heavy stack with players in heaven. Now that the rotate has come through, that is true. Trent gets the first kill from on the rope. Icy gets another. And 100 Thieves have been as good as stalled out here on ramp. Low HP on Trent. And not a lot of util to try and re-hit here for 100 Thieves. They'll be revealed by the Cypher ult, but they're gonna take into the site. Can they hold against this retake? Can EU make a play? He'll hold towards spawn a smoke. He'll block off a bang. Can't risk planting open. They won't have a heaven rewrap this round, or at least not when it's planted for it. Pit unlocked, but G2. They actually just spent so much into elbow, didn't scale off of it. Wrapping around the other way instead. Playing on the outskirts of the pit, but Cryo is here waiting for the approach. It's not planted for him up in heaven, but with EU around the corner, they have brought it to two on two. Back and forth, Bang goes, scouting out the players and taking them down. It's another for 100 Thieves. How did they win that? In a man disadvantage, trapped on the site, they make it work. The movement from Bang in that round was expert. Isolating fights in the pit. Baiting time for Cryo, ping-ponging back and forth, lovely stuff. And he only gets the Viper's Pit because of the plant yes. going in. That was critical. One G2 also remaining. used both their Paranoia and their Fault Line into Elbow, but I right as one. the Pit was cast, they didn't scale off of that. They walked in dry to every single fight they took. And 100 Thieves, all those little offlines playing around the Pit, it was just too much to deal with. A Pit of their own for G2 in mid. Three stingers for G2. There's a Nightfall, there's Util combos. Not gonna catch on to Trent. But if they wanted to get back in, they could. Refight A main. G2 going for this one. Poison they hold off. the Util for now. Just walk up off the smoke. The goal to get Jonah his ult, that's a success. 
They'll back away now. On Bind, they were in the same position, and they chose to save, to not play out this round and give 100 Thieves 12. Even with ults available, even with a couple of guns. This time, though, it's way more equalized. 5v5 still, clock is dwindling. And 100 Thieves are about to walk into that Cypher cam on B. They're, they're biting on this fake. Three players over at the A site. Now, the Viper's still trapped in mid. It's only one trip and a player in heaven to stop this B hit. But that's okay. G2 want to play retake with the Rolling Thunder. Jonah P is in position back towards Alley. And our thieves aren't in just yet. The clock is moving, Mimi. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. If G2 timed this flood retake right, they could win the round. Wingman planting this spike. Jonah committing his ult. Here comes the fight. Leaf wins the first. A second as well from the Cypher towards heaven. Spike has to come down. Another flash, another fight. Bang has too much to deal with. And G2, oh. shut it down. <laughs> Leaf can't hear a thing. It doesn't matter. Giggling his way through that one. Four kills on the round. And it was the perfect setup. Playing for the ult at the start of the round. Leaf playing off into perfection. They needed to win that round, and they do. A full force of all their money invested. Yep. Two ults remaining. put into that one. Flawl. And he was. And they make it happen. All good, all good. All good. Two, if they want to push us to Icebox. 100 Thieves taking a little bit out of the, the C9 split pay, playbook. An anti ramp dive set up from them with the breach over on that side, or G2 rather. But that's not oh, where 100 Thieves are attacking. 100 Thieves, once again, taking space over into mid, trying to blow that up after the last few rounds where so, so much about forward space being taken. I like that G2 have slowed it down just a little bit, and again, are just waiting for a straggler pushing up AA main to run into the crosshair of Icy before ripping that stun. You did good. Dizzy picked back up in mid. One of the big strengths of this 103 Thieves comp, being able to take early space, get that second cycle, and go for an XQ. I don't know. I think this setup is going to cook 100 Thieves. They've spent 40 seconds just looking at this green goo in mid. Yeah, they could get up into vents, but there's two players from G2 playing very heavy for ramp. They've got a bit of a crossfire, and Jonah P from Sight can support so well. A fall line on that line would be deadly. Here comes Icy, walking down. Man whips his shot. That is a huge opportunity squandered, and now the whole no team way. is falling apart. Jonah dies too. They've got three the players pivot. on that side of the map, and Bang disposes of them. Hunter Thieves is going back towards left. B. Trent's been a hero. He needs to do it again. Cryo in main. The timing is brutal. Oh, it's it's just a dismantlement by Hundred Thieves every time it missed. Planted. And the only opportunity left, really, is heroics. Last Leaf player standing. Look in the wrong direction. No one has been looking <laughs> at the player they died from. It's so brutal. Because again, like, G2 setup, if given a little bit more time Match to cook, point. would be deadly. But then, as soon as they rotated out of their positions, like, as soon as Jonah P got on the move, that was when the lurk timing went up from Bang. That was when, all of a sudden, Valon is abandoning Icy. The up. timings that round were so unfortunate. And you also have to criticize Icy. When you have that setup, when you have the Breach ready to go, walking up there, need to win that fight. It all fell apart. Sweet They're heavy over towards A. One more! So good. One more! That's my son right there. Bustio's got his map down. One more, as a matter of fact. And again, it's just working into mid. Again, a, a similar setup from G2. Slightly different, oh. fighting on a more forward line this time around. Off. A main fight. Bang has to contain. It'll be a stun from Jonah, but he's ahead of this fight. Not enough. Fallon takes him down. Finally an opener for G2. G2 a little bit cautious that mid could be a gap for them now. Again, that vent space taken. So they rotate back through heaven over towards B. Good stall here from G2, and they're ready to fight off it. Trent is playing on the ground. Leaf out on Raptors. And that blind just did anything. Leaf's good there for the kill. A paranoid to assist. Wingman falls. Under Thieves have been stalled One out, and Leaf has gotten the job done. Oh, All you. on EU now in a 1v2. Bring them down. Spike fight. to be recovered. Jonah towards heaven. He's being watched. The plant being committed. Damage from EU. 40 seconds for the man to work with both players together. But he's repositioned. He can't plant the spike. There is a fault line. If he goes to this, he's getting stunned. Good position away. And he gets in front for the kill. 
1v1 icing! He can't do it!